CMPD says juveniles are responsible for a large number of recent property crimes. And officers arrested eight teens in connection with at least 16 thefts and break-ins that happened between July and August. The Queen City News reporter Cindy Heiberger spoke to several youth crime prevention advocates tonight and then tells us why they say the work isn't anywhere close to being finished. Charlotte Mecklenburg police say it was a high volume of property crimes like break-ins and car thefts that led them to a group of eight teenagers between the ages of 13 and 17. The crimes happened in the area of Remount Road, South Boulevard and South Tryon Street. We don't have anything for them to do in the communities or in the neighborhoods or after school or even in school then. They're looking at other ways to get attention and be involved in something, even if it is something that they shouldn't be involved in. According to CMBD, youth violence increased 24% last year. And in Mecklenburg County, 80% of those youth crimes were committed with a gun. In the first three months of this year, juveniles accounted for 62% of all auto thefts. But advocates say arresting these young offenders is a band-aid on a much larger wound. What we do know is a lot of times they're released back to their parents um, after they are detained and processed um, and they go to court. They're released back to their parents. Um, and there is no real intervention. The solution, advocates say, starts with more youth programs that appeal to teens and can occupy their time. Social media has, like, changed everything. We got to figure out how to work TikTok and make a, a literacy program and a cultural uh, arts immersion program, something that the young people want to be involved in. Sydney Heiberger, Queen City News. All right, well, back in June, Mecklenburg County commissioners approved the annual budget of more than $2 million for the Juvenile Crime Prevention Council to fund its programs. And this year, the council added three new programs to its list. Leaders say the programs will break down transportation barriers by being set up directly in heavily impacted neighborhoods. The council helps around 800 kids in Mecklenburg County every year.